Now we continue to cover breaking news on the museum fire burning near Flagstaff. About an hour ago, Governor Ducey declared a state of emergency in Coconino County. That will make at least $200,000 from the state's general fund available to the director of Arizona Emergency Management to help put out some of the flames. The move ensures first responders will also have the resources they need to continue protecting lives, pets, and property. Already, more than 500 firefighters, hotshot crews, helicopters and air tankers have been deployed to keep those flames away from buildings or homes and take a look at this. This map shows the proximity of that fire to neighborhoods in that area. The fire has already burned about 1800 acres. It's still 0% contained. Displaced residents have been seeking shelter at Sinagua Middle School. Team 12's Colleen Sakura is in the Flagstaff area speaking to people who live there and Colleen, what are people seeing? Folks on the east side of the fire have seen a lot of activity on the mountain from flames to smoke today. It's signs like these making Desi Summers uneasy. It's, it's been a roller coaster for sure with emotions, especially with the little ones. Adding to it, seeing things change often on the mountain. Right where they're dropping, you can see the jet. That was all bright red just glowing. Now it's watching smoke and getting ready in case. We cut down as much as we could for um, all the weeds. You carry it. Rick and Laura Parker preparing to take their animals if they need to leave. Animal feed and transportation and where you're going to go and um, how you're going to do it. Watching fire crews work, hoping they don't have to. We've been staying close to home and watching it in case we have to go. In the Sunnyside neighborhood, people are filling sandbags as Coconino County says they could get hit with flooding. We're pretty worried about it. I mean, uh, especially because of our garden, like we've just worked so hard on it and we don't want it to get flooded. It's preparation and making sure the essentials are ready and people it's are safe. They don't get replaced. That's right. Kids can't be replaced. Bringing as much peace of mind so. as possible to those surrounding the flames. Fire crews are using the day as a scouting day and they're out doing that. We've seen them out here roaming the east side of the fire, monitoring the activity. Colleen Zakora, 12 News.